to half men half tech and today i'm here to tell you not to install ios 14 on the iphone 6s so i've been using it for about two days now and if you want to see my initial video that i did check it out and i'll leave a link just up here and so when I installed iOS 14 on my iPhone 6s here, as you can see, it was working just fine, but after two days, things went south. I'm experiencing multiple glitches, and let me just illustrate an example for you. For example, if I pull up the notification panel, you can see that some parts of the notification panel, they are not showing up. And then, so I can't change other things like Wi-Fi and network, and as you can see, some sections of the screen are showing up, and certain sections are not. And if I scroll down, a little bit like this you can see that you know it shows glitch when it comes to the control center here so it's actually stuck there and as you can see if i do this it comes back once again if i pull it up certain sections of it are showing and sometimes it actually completely disappears and you are unable to use this control section and you can see that if i bring it down it glitches once again i don't know why this is happening but it seems to be very serious apparently on the iphone 6s and keep an eye on the battery this is on 34% from the time we started recording and it might actually not last five minutes so the battery on this iPhone 6s using iOS 14 has been terrible so let's just go to the settings if it works well it opened this time and let's go to the battery section here so you can see that my maximum battery health percentage hasn't dropped it remained on 88% but the 80% capacity that I'm getting on iOS 14 is very terrible compared to to ios 13.5.1 and my screen on time is very bad and as you can see we've actually lost like two percent in a matter of like a minute so the battery on the iphone 6s when it comes to ios 14 is very bad and very horrible so i do not recommend you update and some other glitches that i'm facing certain applications are not working so you can see that you know my notification panel again is unresponsive and if i want to mount task like this you can see See that there's a glitch when i initially launched application it comes and then goes sometimes like half of the screen is on and then other time nothing is on at all and you can see when i transition between recently opened apps it's it's very glitchy as you can see so sometimes half of the screen will just cut off but yeah that's a very serious glitch and it makes your iphone very unusable and the next thing that we want to talk about is temperature you know with the battery condition of course getting worse on this iphone the temperature temperature is actually rising on this iPhone 6s when connected to a charger or with minimum usage. So with just using simple applications like Facebook, the temperature of this device rises so much to the point that it's almost unusable. So keep an eye on your temperature if you are updating to iOS 14 on the iPhone 6s. And another issue that I would like to highlight, perhaps one of the major issues is the storage of this device. Now I had about 12 gigs of free storage when I was on iOS 13.5.1 before I updated to iOS 14. But if we go to the storage that I have here by going into the general section here and then go to the about section of this iphone you can see that the available storage that i have here is 1.4 gig now ios 14 update for me came in at around 2.98 gigs but it took over 10 gigs to update i don't know why that bug affected me and i don't know if other iphone 6s users are experiencing it and if you are please let me know in the comment section below so that i know what's happening now let's open an application like facebook and so that i can show you what's happening so for example you can see that it's actually getting stuck from time to time look at that sometimes it's very unresponsive and unusable and you can see that sometimes like this i can't actually be able to transition from different sections and yeah this is very glitchy and very annoying and it makes it almost unusable and i actually can't be able to access facebook it just crashed by itself so let me look up for facebook and as you can see oh my goodness this is bad guys this is bad i do not recommend you update to ios 14 on the iphone 6s please do not update and as you can see very glitchy very unstable and i do not recommend that you update to ios 14 on this iphone 6s let me know what other issues you are facing and yeah you can see i just want to search for facebook but i can't be able to so let me try and see okay finally it worked so 
yeah, you can see that even Facebook itself is very highly unstable and very unreliable. So sometimes when I want to read a post or write something, I can't be able to do that. So it's not only Facebook, also YouTube does that from time to time. And yeah, it's this is something that's happening a lot. And as you can see, very glitchy, very unstable. So those are the main issues that I'm facing, guys, when it comes to iOS 14 on the iPhone 6S. As you can see, it's not a good update, very unstable and unreliable and i do not recommend that you update the main issues that i'm facing about seven main issues and the first one is the glitching as you can see here and the second one is the battery condition and temperature of this device with minimum usage it gets hot when charging and another one which i'm also facing is mouth tasking as you can see it makes it almost impossible to mouth task and that's another serious bug that i'm facing and also control center works whenever it wants as you can see now it's almost unusable you don't know what's here or what you're touching it shows up when it wants. and another one that i'm facing is the storage this update took over 10 gigs despite being just below 3 gigs so that's another serious bug that i'm facing and as you can see also certain applications like facebook youtube are very glitchy and to the point where sometimes you are unable to use them so yeah so those are the main issues that i'm facing when it comes to ios 14 on this iphone 6s i do not recommend that you update and yeah do let me know what other issues you are facing in the comment section below and i will be happy to test it out the good thing about this update is that i took the four so that you can avoid it and as you can see very un stable very unreliable thank you very much for watching guys and if you reach this far into the video you guys rock and if it's your first time watching on this particular channel please hit like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will catch you guys in the next one peace